Ashley Cass of Sophisticated Strength. Welcome to episode number four of the vlog. And today we are talking about push-ups. So push-ups can be a very difficult skill. It's a body weight skill. It's different than anything else that you're doing in the gym where you're working with external weights that are super light. This is your whole body weight. So they can be super difficult. Pretty much as difficult as the, as the pull-up we went over in the first week. So we're gonna break it down just like we did the pull-up. We're gonna teach you some drills to learn the position of push-ups, and then we'll teach you how to get your first one. All right, so we're gonna start down on the ground, and we're gonna practice two drills that are gonna help us learn that position. So neutral spine, right? means that my tailbone is pointing down and the crown of my head is pointing up. Everything is nice and long and stable. However, when I am in a horizontal position, like when I'm doing a push-up, gravity is instead pulling me down this way. So I've got to counter that, this action, by tucking my pelvis a little bit more so that I can avoid that gravitational pull. So our neutral spine, from horizontal to vertical is a little bit different. So you gotta keep that in mind. If for some reason you can't get into that position and your hip flexors are super tight, you can always refer back to our previous vlog where we worked on a little bit of hip mobility. That can be a great intro to this video. All right, so these two drills, right? The first one is the top of the push-up. We're gonna spend the most amount of time here because everything that we cue, everything that we drill in this top of a push-up is gonna apply to all of our push-up practice. So, starting down with the hands, right? So your hands are kind of like your feet. There's some like unseen force, unseen action happening here. I'm really kind of clawing the floor with my fingertips. And I'm also spinning the palms of my hands away from each other. So it's kind of like a this action that's happening. And what that does is kind of corkscrews the backside of your shoulder. That's your lats back there. It's gonna keep those guys engaged to keep your shoulder really solid here. So I find that corkscrewing action with the hands to the shoulder. And then I'm gonna imagine that I'm pushing the floor as far away from my shoulders as I possibly can. So I never get sunken down here. I'm always super strong. I'm gonna keep that tuck that we talked about in the pelvis, remember that neutral spine position. And then I'm gonna play tug of war with my whole body. So I'm gonna reach the crown of my head forward, like I'm shooting my neck out of my shoulders, and I'm reaching the heels back at the same time. It's that total body tug of war. So just get really strong here. If for some reason it starts to break down, like you lose this engagement or you lose this, take a break. You're gonna work your way up to three sets of 30 seconds there. So then drill number two that you're gonna work on is just a progression of that. We're gonna make it a little bit tougher. We're gonna bring this plank down to your forearms, a forearm plank, basic plank. So everything is exactly the same. I'm gonna come down to my forearms, but I'm gonna keep my hands and my elbows parallel to each other. So you might have hands flat to the ground, or you can make fists with your hands, whatever feels comfortable to you. I like the hands flat, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys. But then everything is exactly the same. I'm gonna push the floor away with my elbows as hard as I can. I'm gonna keep that tuck in the hip, and then I'm gonna play tug of war with my whole body. Same thing here. If something starts to break down, you take a break. You're gonna work your way up to three sets of 30 seconds on that forearm plank. So those are like some preemptive skills that you can work on, and then you can start working on your actual push-up. So for most of us, since we're working with all of our body weight, that's a lot of weight. Like I weigh 140 pounds, so we're going we're gonna to displace some of that by elevating your push-up practice. So you can use a box or anything you've got around the house even. You don't necessarily have to be at a gym to practice your push-ups. And then you're still going to practice that whole spinning away thing with your hands. If you're working with a bar, which can actually be a little more comfortable for people who are just getting back into the gym, just starting to practice strength, because um, you might find that your wrists hurt a little bit, uh, the bar is really good for that. With the bar, to get that core screwing action in the shoulders, you're going to imagine that you're snapping this bar over your knees, and that'll get that tension in the back side of your shoulder that we're using. All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna practice is the isometric hold of the push-up. So 
So you're basically holding the bottom of the push-up. We have to master that part of the push-up first. So I'm gonna break this bar, I'm gonna set up my plank, and I'm gonna lower myself down so that like my xiphoid process, this bone you got right here, is rowing towards the bar, and I'm just gonna hold. So you're gonna hold here for 30 seconds, breathe into the position, find a height where you can be successful for 30 seconds. Work your way to three sets. All right? Once you've got that mastered, then you're gonna work on the slow, lower part of the push-up, the eccentric part of the push-up. I like to practice these guys on a four or a five count. So I'm as slowly as I can. One, two, three, four. You can even drop the knees and then reset so you don't have to work on any other part except that slow lower. One, two, three, four, five. Drop knees, good to go. Those, so something like a four or a five count, maybe you're practicing about four sets of four and that's a pretty good place to start. And then your third exercise, the last part of the push-up, you can keep at the same height. You're gonna actually practice that pushing part of the push-up, the part that we all consider the action part of the push-up. So I'm gonna lower myself down quickly and work on some speed here. Being really strong, punching the bar away from me. So adding speed to things makes them harder. These, you can work your way up to something like three sets of 10, real quick, on the reps. And then you have completed your skill work on all part of the push-ups. All right, but how do I get to a push-up on the ground? Easy, you just take this bar, lower it down a notch or two, and start that cycle all over again. You don't have to go back to those two initial drills we start. You would start right back down at that push-up hold, then go to the slow lower, and then to the actual pushing action. And you can just keep lowering the bar down, keep finding shorter boxes, until you have that perfect push-up all the way down on the ground. Super easy. For the write-up of all the exercises and drills that we went over today, just click the link below, um, and you'll get a PDF right to your email. I'm Ashley Cast of Sophisticated Strength. Go practice your push-ups.